A new show called The Brigade debuted last week on the Outdoor Channel. It challenges contestants to travel by canoe on old fur trade routes, and a Mainer is among the competitors. Rob Nesbitt talked with Trace and Fair about what it was like to film the show, and he joins us now with more. I'm intrigued by this. This sounds yeah, interesting. It is, Robin Amanda. Trace is no stranger to the outdoors, but it's fair to say that the Brigade show is testing her limits. <laughs> a primetime opportunity that she hopes others her age can learn from. It's when she's out in the elements that Trace and Thayer is in her element. Waves under her, trees surrounding her, and the breeze of spring blowing in her face. Trace has spent years taking part in multi-day races, requiring things like mountain biking, hiking, canoeing. It's why her name came up as a good candidate for network television. I had an old sponsor of mine from when I used to race in expedition competitions call me and say, hey, I had a casting director call me and to ask if I knew anyone that might be interested and I thought of you and I was like, oh, okay, here we go. Yes, tell me about it. And now, 10 strangers unite. The opportunity is called The Brigade, Race to the Hudson. The show airs on the Outdoor Channel and features 10 contestants, Tracen included. They follow part of the York Factory Express for a trade route from the west coast of the U.S. to Hudson Bay in Canada. It's 10 of us that didn't know each other when we showed up the day before we launched our canoe. And, you know, can we get together? Can we work together? Can we learn to accept each other's differences and, and pull through the strengths and, um, and get 750 miles in 28 days? Trayson is used to weathering elements here in Maine, but Brigade takes her to places she never thought she'd see. It's been fun for her to watch the experience on TV along with everyone else. This is what we signed up for right here. Of the 10 contestants, Trayson is the oldest woman and the second oldest overall. Get that rope, get it out. This is dangerous. At 50 years of age, it's what she hopes will resonate with fans and encourage them to test their limits the same way she did for a month in the wilderness. I could set a good example, hopefully for other women my age, that you know you can always seek an adventure. It doesn't have to be a brigade. You can have a smaller scale brigade, but hopefully inspire people to always seek out something that's challenging. It's what Trayson has done her entire life. Paddle boarding, canoeing, kayaking, hiking, and rock climbing around her Mason Township home. Now you get to watch her try some of those things joining the brigade in hopes she makes it to the very end. Half a million dollars on the lawn. Any contestants who make it to the end of the trade route will split the $500,000 prize. The brigade, Race to the Hudson, airs Monday nights at 8 on the Outdoor Channel. Robin Amanda, for anyone who wants to watch and cheer on a Mainer. Did you happen to talk about what she'd do if she won some money on the show? She did not tell me what she would do. <laughs> so I feel as though, you know, she's already shot it, so she knows yeah. whether or not she made it to yeah. the end or not. So she didn't give me any spoilers or any sort of hints as to what might happen at the end.